One of the ways to think theoretically about novel to film adaptations is to look at the history of how people have compared more than one medium. We can start, for instance, with painting and poetry, which were often called the sister arts. There's a long tradition of critics from, say, the 18th century on who took it upon themselves to demonstrate the numerous ways that painting and poetry are alike. And this is called comparison by analogy. Some of the similarities between poetry and painting were set out by Lord Blakemore in 1713. He said that the painter is a poet to the eye and a poet a painter to the ear. One gives us pleasure by silent eloquence, the other by vocal imagery. And what Blakemore is saying here is that poetry and painting resemble one another because they both communicate imagery and that the communication of imagery is pleasant. And I think one of the deeper things here to note is that the, the idea is that pleasure is the same no matter where it comes from. Now, if analogy is a matter of comparison, then categorization, which is the other major stream of dealing with the so-called sister arts, is a matter of showing the differences between two mediums. Lessing, who was a very important German writer and someone who thought a lot and wrote a lot about painting and poetry, wrote that comparing poetry and painting by analogy doesn't really tell us much. It's not particularly useful in a critical sense. Instead, Lessing wants us to recognize that painting and poetry are very different things. They use symbols in different ways. Poetry and novels are conceptual, they inspire mental imagery, but they are not in themselves visually aesthetic. They are letters on a page wrapped together with a cover. And even if that cover has an illustration or painting or photograph on it, it can never have a one-to-one -one correspondence with the content of the book. Also, novels and poems use time as their fundamental structure. They detail events that take place in the past or the present, or in some cases the future. Now, of course, painting can do all of these things in a temporal sense of accessing past, present, or future, but Lessing argues that painting uses space rather than time as its main formative principle. So in many ways, what Lessing is doing by saying that we need to differentiate the arts is he's trying to preserve the sanctity and the purity of each art. And in, Less in Lessing's case, I think he's trying to say that by comparing two arts, uh, by drawing similarities between them, we're not really making one seem better than the other, but rather we're making both of them seem less great than they really are.